We're here, made it to Montana. Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport is one of the prettiest airports we've ever been in. The large wooden beams, muted hues of purples, golds, and greens, and bronze sculptures of wildlife everywhere made for a cozy, rustic atmosphere. As soon as we got our luggage and made it to the rental car, we were on the road headed to Gardner. But first, a stop at the store for groceries for the week. Not many Walmarts with that view. Uh, do we need to get like a knife, like a little set of utensils? I think Walmart brands will be cheapest there, 362. So the drive from Bozeman to Gardner is about 85 miles, but it didn't seem like it took very long with beautiful scenery to look at and a speed limit of 80 miles per hour. We arrived at our hotel for the night in Gardner, Montana at the Yellowstone Big Rock Inn. Big Rock Inn, two queen beds. Bath area, single sink, little coffee maker, air dryer, big mirror, towels, and nice tall bathroom, walk in shower, give them to the video. Everybody on? Yeah, I'll you walk out they have chairs so a little table here and then you can you know, take in the view for our hotel our lobby we're on the third floor and we're here in Gardner this is the gateway to Yellowstone and we just walked out of our hotel 800 feet to our hotel or to our restaurant and there's like a herd of elk right in the we got this Winnebago fake Winnebago here but yep look look at this right there look at this this elk right behind me on the road from our hotel, we walked down to a restaurant called The Corral, famous for their bison burgers. We all ordered the buffalo burger, and they were awesome. Oh, right there. These jokers are like five feet from me.
taken out of the road. So with that suggestion, we made our way on up to the town of Mammoth Hot Springs with hope to see some more elk and to explore the thermal features of the lower terraces. The features at Mammoth Hot Springs are always changing. The terraces are made up of travertine with different minerals in the water creating different colors. The water and limestone features can appear quickly and then dry up just as fast. All right guys, that is I believe Mammoth Springs, <clears throat> they call it. But as you can see, a lot of colors behind me. It stinks like rotten eggs. Uh, really cool that water's coming out of there. It's steam and just a really cool spot. It's dusk here. It's a little after almost well, 7:30 in the middle of September, and pretty cool. A lot of elk, male bulls bugling out here. Um, so far, uh, 20 minutes into Yellowstone, it's epic. So here we are over here. Uh, I get this formation. That's a tree there. That is something. I don't know. But down here is where it tells what it is. It's Liberty Cap. Liberty Cap is what that is. One place you can walk around. Let's see back there. Where he's came from. Down this way is the it's called Mammoth the, the town. So awesome. And as nighttime approached, the residents of Mammoth Hot Springs headed off to bed. And we decided to do the same. 